Hi friends, welcome back to Quick Poetry Knowledge. This is Mehjudin. In this video, I am going to narrate some important questions and answers related to the poem Wild Horses composed by Shalak Bullman. So the first question is, what are the horses doing in the first stanza? Are they enjoying what they are doing? Give reasons for your answer. In the first stanza of Shalak Bullman's poem Wild Horses, the horses are described as galloping and running across the vast tracts of open grasslands. A male horse is taking the lead and the rest of the animals are following him. The horses are enjoying their movement because they are all free animals. They have no human being nearby to control their movement. The horses are taking pleasure of their freedom. They are also enjoying the warmth of the sun. Why do you think that the sound of hooves has been described as thunder? The sound of hooves has been described as thunder because the wild horses are moving passionately. They are all strong and proud animals enjoying their freedom. The energetic movement of their hooves seems like the force of thunder. What do the horses do on the grassy plains? The horses stop on the grassy plains to feed on the grass. It's a place that gives them food, rest and shelter. As they chomp the grass, these horses enjoy the feel of the wind blowing against their manes. Why can't men govern these wild horses? Men cannot govern these wild horses because they gallop across all those areas in which men do not live. These animals are strong, they have a free spirit, they are so wild that it is not possible for anybody to catch them or to keep them in captivity. Explain the term fenceless pastures. Fenceless pastures are those areas that have no boundaries because they are not owned by men. These are remote grasslands far from the touch of civilization. The free horses love to wander across these pastures with no fences. These pastures are symbolic of the freedom that these animals enjoy. Why do the horses belong to the manless land? The horses belong to the manless land because the animals are grazing on some remote areas of the world where human beings do not live. The horses are wild and free. They are far away from human civilization. What helps them to stand with pride and spirit strong? The horses are able to stand with pride because they have no human owner to control them. They are all wild and free animals. Their freedom gives them confidence, joy and keeps their spirit strong. What is the message conveyed in the poem? The poet tries to convey the message that freedom is not only important for the well-being of man but also for animals. Man should st stay away from wild animals and allow them to grow and prosper independently. While animals should not be kept in captivity, the confidence and joy that the wild horses experience is due to their state of being free. They are not dependent on man for food and shelter and so they are happy. With these words, I come to the end of this video. I do hope that you have understood this poem. Please check out my previous video featuring a summary of wild horses. Until then, bye.